number 28 from the release to spring 2014, Algebra 1, Tennessee, end of course test. Uh, the question says the graph below shows the weight in pounds of a cow as a function of the cow's age in months. If the trend shown in the graph continues, which is the best prediction of the weight of the cow when the age of the cow is 15 months? Now, one of the ways that you could do this is to make a list of all the points. So at 1, it's probably around, I don't know, 150. At 2, it's 200. At 4, it's 300. By the way, I, I wouldn't do it this way, but I'm just saying you can do it. And I'll show you what I would do in just a minute. Because I'm kind of lazy. And 10 and 600. Now, I'll put this into a list, and I'll be right back. Ah, so there it is. I'm back. Magically produced uh, the list. I went into the stat menu and just clicked edit, and then here I am. I've typed them all in. So I'm going to quit out. Then I'm going to go back into the stat menu. That's where I edited it in the first place. But now I want to do a linear regression because I want to find a line that gives me the best prediction. It looks like a line, doesn't it? So I'll go over to Calc, down to the part that says LinReg. That's linear regression. It means taking, coming up with a line based off of what's probably the middle. That's kind of what linear regression means in a very basic way. So I'll hit Enter. The big deal I should see that. I should have mentioned before is when you make your list sometimes you'll delete L1 on accident it's just the way that it goes so pay attention to where you type them in and with that said now I'll go back and show you what I'm talking about I should have done that first place this is L1 and L2 and that's where my data is occasionally when you delete stuff you accidentally will just delete an entire column and it will be L2 and L3 where your data is held you'll need to be aware of that because you have to go back and change it um, if it's not set up. If you have a chance to fix it ahead of time, I would suggest you just reset the calculator and then it'll come back, but whatever. Anyway, back to stat menu, calc, linreg. So as you can see, it says L1 and L2, so I'm all happy about that. If I wanted to store the equation, I certainly could. I could store it as a variable, but I'm not going to now because I can just write it down for this one moment and it saves tons of time. Uh, calculate, and it gives me this. And it is pretty linear. It says y equals ax plus b, which is the same as y equals mx plus b, by the way. And it tells me that a is 50 and b is 100. So with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and deal with the realities of being 15 months. So instead of just plugging in 6, 8, 10, I'm just going to plug 15 in. Why wouldn't I? This is 100, by the way. So 50 times 15 plus 100, which you could do here. I don't know why I didn't. Not that. Quit. Eight hundred and fifty pounds. So right in here. Now, I told you before that I probably wouldn't even bother with that for a variety of reasons, whatever. Um, I would probably start at the first point, to be completely honest. I'd probably start at the first point and just kind of run a line that I think feels like it's kind of sort of towards the middle. Maybe something like that. Something like this, maybe. That looks pretty good. You know, this one seems a little over and this one seems a little under so that's a pretty good representation of what's going on and uh, why did it shift back that was weird I can just adjust it hold on here we go I'll just shift this back up to where it was now what I would do from here I would just do it with a pen using the side of my calculator as a straight edge and then I would just say okay here's 13 14 15 ish somewhere like right around in here and I would go up it's gonna be like right in here which is right in the heart of 850 country to me so it's definitely not 1040 because that would be way up here and it's not 650 which is down here and it's certainly not 1500 which would be way up here so this is the only reasonable answer just from drawing a line but you are certainly welcome to do a regression and then get the actual mathematic answer and that's fine or you can probably get away in most cases 
depending on the answer choices, but in this case, for certain, you could just draw a line and just kind of guesstimate that it's 8.50 and it's beyond with your day. So whatever you want.